All right, I'm just going to wait for a few more people to get on here. Hopefully you guys can hear me. All right, just waiting for more people to get on. Everybody's getting on here. Okay, so we have some uh, some good news I want to share with you. It's one day at a time with Mary, okay? Um, here I am. How you doing? Um, I'm outside of the... Um, the Highness Plaza, you don't want to look at me. I want to, outside the Highness Plaza Hotel, and we managed to get, um, well, one of uh, Highness News readers managed to, to, to uh, speak with the Highness Plaza Hotel. They agreed to take. Sorry about that. Hopefully, we're all back. It's the, um, one of the interior scanners there. Anyways, so the Highness Plaza Hotel has agreed to take Mary off the street tonight. And on a day-to-day -day basis based on you know whether it's a good fit for her okay and I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about um, Mary's situation with without going into too much detail because everybody's you know entitled to their privacy okay but um, you know Mary Mary is you know 81 years old she's been on the street um, for about two years and She's had a difficult time fitting in with certain programs. Let's just say it that way. And the best way I can describe this to you, for example, I take care of my mom and she's approaching 91 years old, okay? And my mom is very set in her ways, okay? She wouldn't be afraid to tell you that. And so just being elderly alone would make it difficult for someone like my mom to fit into some of these programs with the, with the restrictions that they have. Okay, you, you put on top of it, like let's say my mom had some dementia going on or had some mental health issues going on, then it would make it even more difficult. So you need specialized care for somebody like my mom. And in Mary's situation, she needs specialized care, okay? So I, hopefully I'm saying this in a way that I'm not blowing up Mary's, Mary's uh, spot. But Mary is a, is a um, as you've seen, she, she presents really well. She gives a great interview, but she has her moments and she's, you know, she's on the street, okay? So who wouldn't have their moments, okay? And so she needs people that can understand, um, you know, homelessness, the elderly, and the woman that reached out this evening, um, I'm gonna ask her if I can share her name later and I'll, I'll give some updates. I just took some pictures of them um, going into the hotel, okay? Um, she she person she works specifically with elderly like Mary, okay. So it's a good fit. So she knows how to talk and care for Mary. She's checking her for her wounds right now to see if she has any wounds. All right. So here's what what can be done. I a lot of people Highness News readers are awesome. Okay. The phone has been ringing off the hook. Emails. I cannot return all the emails. I apologize for that. But the um, the homeless right now, someone like Mary, for example, and we're going to focus on Mary tonight. Mary needs basic shelter first. That's her immediate need. Um, the clothing and, and food that people are coming up with, that's great stuff, but it's not, it, it's not going to help Mary in this situation because Mary has to, she carries everything along on her little, little um, walker that she has. Okay. So those types of efforts if you could just reach out to I urge you to reach out to establish um, agencies that deal with the homeless some of them have they're able to stockpile that stuff and to distribute that stuff to make sure that it gets out okay does that make sense I don't have room for it in my car my first mission each night is, is I'm a photojournalist okay I go out here that's my my job the in the downtime and in my travels I you know, I, I saw Mary, and I, if I can draw attention to these people, that's that's basically what I can do. I'm not a super person. I don't, I'm not a rich fella, you know. I'm, I'm really just a guy with a camera that works at night, and I see these people, and I'm just drawing attention to it, okay? You guys are the heroes, okay? The Highness News readers, they've continually raised money for these people, and you have to understand, you have to understand, working with the homeless population it's not easy. If it was easy, if it just meant if it just meant throwing money at it, we wouldn't have homelessness. It's, it's complicated. Each person has a different set of needs. Each person has a different story. Okay, so 
you know, so it just bear that in mind. It's not easy. It's not a, um, it's not always going to, you, you're not going to get thanked for it sometimes. Okay. You're not going to get thanked. These, some people are on the street for, they, they worked hard to get on the street. In other words, they, 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 they have something going on that keeps putting them back on the street. If you're going to work with the homeless and if you're going to reach out, just bear that in mind that you need to sidestep those power struggles. The main thing is to get them safe and get them off the street. A Highness news reader stepped forward. A few others have. This is what you can do. She's staying at the Highness Plaza Hotel. I'm told that they just agreed they will accept donations directly to the hotel. So if Mary is able to work with the hotel and stay in a room, Highness news readers can, can fund her at this hotel. Okay, so people have been asking me, where can we donate money for Mary? Where can we do this? Um, I, people have tried, a, one, one person tried a fundraiser for Mary and there's still funds in that account. It's just that going through PayPal and going through all, through all that stuff, it's, it's really, it's not as easy <laughs> working with PayPal to get the funds and stuff like when you need them, okay? So directly to the hotel would help Mary the most now. I mean, blankets, warmers and stuff, I've got a whole back seat full of those things. That's not what she needs. She pr she just needs to get off the streets for the, for the meantime. I know I've heard people say, well, she needs a nursing home. She needs this and that. Yes, I agree. I, again, I'm just a photographer, okay? I'm, I'm drawing attention to her, so hopefully people that are qualified, like the woman that just helped her right now, who's qualified, can, can reach out and get her the help she needs. She accepted help tonight. She was in good spirits. When she got the room, she said, I do not want a jacuzzi. She was joking around. She's like, I don't want a jacuzzi. So I don't know if she got a jacuzzi or not. Mary has a, has a, has a wonderful sense of humor. And I hope that establishes, I hope that um, clears up a lot for you guys for right now. Um, my glasses is fogged up. It's really cold out. But um, if anybody has any questions, I'll take some questions right now. Um, let me see. All right. I don't know what about other things that are going on. Thanks, Linda. Linda, so hook back up with uh, Linda's a woman that raised some funds for her, and she has some. She's holding some funds. Hook back up with her, and um, and 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 you guys can take it from there. Okay. All right, guys. I'm just seeing if there's any questions. Yeah, prayers always help, guys. Um, realize that th there's experts that are working with these people. If it was simple, it's not that simple. That's the, that's the thing. It's really not as easy as it looks. Okay. So, and again, I'm not. You know, my job is is as a photojournalist to show you guys the realities in the world. I do have a soft spot for Mary. She's grown on me over the years. I do have a soft spot for a lot of the homeless and stuff like that. But other than that, I'm just a guy with a camera. You guys are the heroes. You guys are the ones that are going to keep these people off the streets. You cannot always count on a government agency to do it. They work nine to five jobs and they're not out here at night. So that's where hopefully maybe some of the readers like the, like, um, the reader that just worked out this evening and, and I'll check with her to see if it's okay to release her name later. Um, you know, it's, uh, it, that's heroic what she did. She came forward she she got she got something done you know so that's what she needs basic shelter donations uh to keep her in a room can go to the highness plaza hotel and um that's pretty much it all right guys i'll keep you posted i'm gonna go out i gotta work all night okay all right bye okay guys take care have a nice night stay warm okay Peace.